We'll make it by Bleak Minaya. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> No offense, if that was you, I would have slapped you. No, no, no. You know what? Offense, offense. No, I would not have slapped you. What I would have done is this. I would have immediately just looked at you. And I would have been like, you need to tell your parents before you tell us. You can't come out of the closet here. <laughs> you can't come out of the fan fiction closet in a room like this. Chapter one, I choose you. I hate you. <laughs> Is this too many porn? This one is best left to the imagination. Uh, I choose you! Quick author's note, this is my first fic. Exciting! <laughs> please enjoy, review if you want, favorite if you want, do whatever, but please enjoy! Fat, 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 I know that fat, fat, as soon as you turn 10, you can become a Pokemon trainer, but obviously I think that is way too young. So I am going to go with 16. No, no choice. <laughs> what? Koooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
Santana laughed because she knew he would make a good Pokemon trainer. <laughs> but he would never beat her to the title of Pokemon Master. Whatever, Puck. Just let me get on and I'll see you along the way. Santana sidestepped Puck and walked through the research lab doors. She had never been inside the building before, and she had never had a reason to visit. Today was a special occasion. <laughs> what is her birthday? Is that one sentence? No, actually there's punctuation, but I get no emotion behind it. <laughs> ah, you must be... Santana. Santana. <laughs> Say to Nana. <laughs> Ask the professor. Asked. Asked. <laughs> Santana started and turned to face him. <laughs> er, yes, sir. That's me. She stated. Follow me and we'll get you your new Pokemon. Santana followed the professor to a room equally as large as the first one. That was just like the other one. She had never seen a building this size before and couldn't believe it was filled with so many machines with blinking lights and compartments. <laughs> Santa I mean Santana, it's time for you to find your new companion. Have you got any ideas which one you want to possibly have pick you since you can't pick the one you want? The most evil of them. <laughs> Santana had thought about this for at least a thousand times over the last few days. But she still had no idea what Pokemon she wanted. Especially because she thought they were stupid. There were none that are devils. <laughs> Come on. She has to. There's no way she thinks it's cool. None of them are demons. With so many to choose from, it wouldn't be easy task to pick just one. Hell is she there, but I missed it. Well, no, no capital W, you need to think too hard about it because we're about to find who's your perfect match. <laughs> Just place your hand on this pad right here. <laughs> <laughs> the professor held a slim machine in his hand with a glowing shape on the surface. Santana took a step closer and placed her hand on the pad. A blue strip lit below her hand and scanned her fingertips. What is it doing? Queried Santana. Or queried. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> oh, don't panic. This machine will pick you a Pokemon that matches you and your personality perfectly. Bitch your heart. <laughs> it's steering your fingertips off, isn't it? I hope, I hope. That blue light is holiness. I cannot touch it for long. <laughs> Wait, it allows you to bond with your Pokemon better than if you choose one you think looks nice. He will submit to my will. Makes sense, said Dana, thought to herself. The pad beeped and Professor Schuster took it away and connected it to a large computer covering one wall of the enormous room. They can't afford a Dell. <laughs> a few more beeps and everything went quiet. Is is everything okay? Stuttered Santana. I thought the Asian was the one who stuttered. Is is, is everything the, the, the thing okay? Uh, okay. I thought it was the Asian who stuttered. I uh, what? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, can 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 I be find a Pokemon for me? Patient Santana, the machine needs time to calculate everything about you to find an exact match. I mean, you're pretty freaking evil. <laughs> oh, this was all Santana could manage. Oh. She had never been so nervous about anything before. This moment would determine her future. The Pokemon she received today would help her be the master she hoped to one day become. I really need to be. This little creature would grow with her and help her catch more Pokemon and be... A loud beep interrupted Santana's thoughts, and the young girl began to shake with eagerness. Damn you, machine! <laughs> what is that with you? What is that with you? <laughs> she could barely contain her excitement. <laughs> oh me, oh me, oh me. Oh my. She could barely contain her excitement. The screen on the huge machine flashed red and slowly faded to show a picture of a Pokemon. Santana held her breath and waited. The Pokeball on the screen opened to reveal... The Pokemon on the screen opened to reveal the most beautiful, majestic animal she had ever seen. Devimon from Digimon! Similar in shape and size to a fox, with a large, bushy tail and a magic crown. Oh my god! Slowpoke! Full pigs 
Santana whisper. That's right. I'm Professor Schuster. Ha ha ha! I find your laughs unamusing. <laughs> Number 37, Paul picks is a fire type that evolves into nine tails when exposed to a fire stone. So, you know, when he does rock. <laughs> My heart is a fire stone. <laughs> oh, oh man, it's, it's so death. beautiful. Coon Santana. Oh, it's so Those beautiful. Those of you who play Hot to Full Boyfriend. <laughs> coo, 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 coo. Can I meet him now? The professor puts a few more buttons on the machine. I'm assuming it suited two ones and a quarter. And a door slid open to reveal Satana's very first Pokemon. The shy creature sniffed the edge of the door, slow, slowly walking towards his new owner, with his head held low, as if he was guilty or something. Bend yourself to my will. Or ashamed of the fact that he was appearing in this fanfic. <laughs> Come on, little guy. I put. I gotta put you away in your Pokeball so we can get going to Viridian City. Santana removed the Pokeball from her belt her mother had bought her and watched as it expanded in her hand. Paul Pix get in the ball now. Santana threw the Pokeball at Vulpix, expecting him to disappear into the ball. Only he bounced it off his tail and straight back at Santana's hand. You bastard! Oh, God damn it, Pikachu Syndrome. Get in the ball! I will make you my evil servant. Get in my ball! Huh? Once again, she threw the ball at the Pokemon, only to have it about back, bounce back into her hand. No! This continued a few more times, but where Satana got annoyed, because Satana doesn't have a brain. I will stab you! Why won't he get in a ball? Because it's stupid! She asked Professor Schuster, was it something I did? Am I just too evil? I'm gonna go ahead and say what he says, and then I'm gonna tell you what he means. While being trained, a Pokemon usually stays inside its Pokeball. However, there are many exceptions. Some Pokemon hate being confined. Professor Huster looked at the tiny Vulpix with a slight smile. I guess this would be one of those exceptions. Translation. You don't got enough badger You don't got enough badger to train me, bitch! <laughs> I will forge a cage in the fiery pits of the underworld and enslave you and your entire See, family. If she beat the fire gym leader, she would get the fire badger and she'd be set. <laughs> what about a honey badger? A honey badger would probably do it too. I guess so, chuckled Santana. Hey little guy, come here. <laughs> I'm putting you on a leash. I, we're, we're, we're done. We're, we're going away. I can't do that. Anymore. That one hurts. Let me go ahead and spoil it for you. She loses, and just like in the manga, she gets kidnapped. Only instead of anyone finding her, she wakes up in a coma missing her kidney. <laughs> If you ate my kidney, I swear, I will consume your face.